Hello. Thank you for coming to my live stream. My name is Master Paul. And this is a restart of the live stream that I just started because there was a poor connection. Hopefully this one will improve in just a little bit and uh, we'll get better from there. So today is October 26th and today's subject will be on a very important subject known as depression. Depression has impacted many souls very negatively and it usually does not easily go away. There is a spiritual reason for it and today I'm going to be focusing on the root cause of depression and some spiritual solutions. So thank you for all those that have jumped back on and found me again. I apologize for losing you on this uh, previous connection. I know you can probably hear me well, but I also know that the video is still skipping. So again, we will hope for the best and I will continue forward. So as I was talking about in the first uh, aspect of this, I am a student of Dr. Master Zhigang Sha. I have since become what's called a worldwide representative of Dr. Master Sha. And what that means is I have studied with a true being, a servant of humanity, one that has brought to humanity very important and powerful principles, principles, principles of understanding of the power of soul, how the power of soul can transform all aspects of our life how the power of soul can transform, in this case, depression. If we understand the root, then we can also understand how to uproot it. And so we're all very, very blessed to have such a benevolent and uh, important um, being, such as Dr. and Master Shah, who has come to Earth at this time to bring these uh, most important teachings to us. So today I will share with you several potential uh, approaches to how to address this um, condition that tends to hamper a great deal of humanity. Um, I'm probably off on this statistic, but I did see not long ago that there was a, a statistic that was uh, almost half. America, don't know about the rest of the world, has some aspect of depression happening in their life. That's a really big number, if that uh, information is correct. But I suspect that it's not far off. And I think one of the reasons why is because of the nature of uh, the, the, the current times that we live in. Now, now there's some deeper spiritual reasons uh, we will definitely do as we go. But um, right to those answers. Um, so let's first connect heart to heart, heart soul to soul, and we'll see if this stream actually uh, it up. And it's dragging horribly, and I'm hoping that it will bounce out. Okay. So let's place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is very much like a prayer position, but we drop our left hand in front of our heart center. And close your eyes. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you, I respect you, and I love you. I ask that it is appropriate, please be with us here today to bless all those who come on the line, all those who watch video, and those who are here to hearts, please be the teaching on the subject of depression, including uh, guidance so that people have a better understanding and the highest and best solutions that can be offered from the perspective of the spiritual. We ask heaven that you please be present at this time in the highest and best way. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you. We please ask you to come to be with all of us and to turn on in all souls, in all universes. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, please assist us in clearing any blockages that are in our path at this time, as appropriate. So let us chant. Lula, Lula, Lee. Lula, 
lalu lalali lu lalu lali lu la lu lali lu la lu lali lu la wai wo xian er ling wo ai tren ren lei Wang Ling Rong Her Musher Shang Song I Ping on her say Song I Ping on her say I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Keep your eyes closed. Receive the blessings. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la, lu la ha li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren lei, wang ling rong er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an er xie. Shang I ping on a sin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join our hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony for bringing balance to the webcast. I see it's now leveled out, and I'm very grateful for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So for all those that are just joining. This will be focused on the subject of depression. Depression is a huge, huge problem in humanity. It has affected well over 30% of humanity, and there are many sources for it. Everybody has their own story that has brought about this condition. As far as the modern medical approach, there does not appear to be any uh, solutions that have any degree of long-term effectiveness. The majority of the solutions that are being presently offered are adjusting things at the level of the chemical because they feel that it is a chemical imbalance. This does not have a lot of foresight associated with it, but that's what the current medical industry is working with. We honor them and we honor that what they're trying to do and how it helps occasionally because it does help those that are suffering to at least have a semi-normal life. But it is limited. So I want to offer a little bit of a teaching on the nature of the blockages from the perspective of the spiritual. Now my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, brought forth a subject to humanity that has been touched on a little bit here and there, but no one has ever elucidated it the way this master has. Over 20 books, 10 New York Times bestsellers, there's a lot of wisdom there, and they're all about the subject of soul and its relationship to virtually every imbalance in our life. Now, if you have been watching me in any of the live streams prior to this, we have used soul to clear energy blockages. I have used soul to clear blockages for finances. We have used soul for virtually any area of our life, and it's no difference for the subject of depression. Yesterday, I focused on the aspects of fear, and we worked with some specific awarenesses about how to identify it, how to uh, uh, give it love and attention, offer it gratitude for its service because it services to share with you what you need to transform. And then we showed you a way in which you can transform the blockages using higher divine power. Depression, although it has similar roots, has a different um, approach 
in many ways to bring in healing and balance to it. And one of the reasons why is because uh, depression is not necessarily always brought on by an emotional condition, for example, such as somebody passing on, someone that we care about. That can sometimes trigger a deep depressive state, uh, intermixed with grief and sadness. Sometimes it can be brought on by a series of other things that are physical based. For example, if we bring too many toxicity in our body, heavy metals, mercury, things of that nature, absolutely wreaks havoc on the body and the body's functionality as well as the chemical processes. And this is why sometimes when modern medicine brings uh, chemical solutions through, through pharmaceuticals, it does have some degree of effect. At least it creates enough of a chemical rebalancing where the person can have some degree of forward functioning. The root cause, however, according to uh, my teacher, Dr. Master Shah, for everything in life is karma. The one sentence secret, all success and all failure in every aspect of life is related to karma. And so that includes something like a depression, like a fear, like excellent finances or poor relationships. They all have a karmic root. How does that show up in our physical life? It shows up by bringing to us a car accident. It shows up by bringing to us uh, a windfall through a rich uncle. It shows up through physical world things, but what originated it was our good or our unpleasant karma. And when we go and we start to take a look at how this condition of depression is addressed, which is how we're going, what we're going to be talking about today, we want to look at the way it's been addressed so far. Now we understand that there's uh, Western medicine, there's Eastern medicine, and then there's psychology, uh, uh, which is more Western than it is Eastern, but it, it's not certainly limited by either. And then there is the soul solution. Western medicine, when they take a look at a problem, they cut it out or they um, adjust the energy and matter aspects of it using chemicals. That's a typical Western approach. Eastern medicine looks at it very differently. They look at it from the perspective of the uh, elements, um, including water and fire, like we spoke about yesterday, or yesterday being the <clears throat> water element associated with fear in the kidneys, whereas the condition of anxiety and depression is associated with the fire element and the organ of the heart. Um, both of them have uh, truths in their, um, in their, in their understanding but each has a limitation in that uh, the, the Eastern practitioner would probably say, okay, well, let's strengthen the heart. Let's go ahead and add product that might bring more wind or more sun. They, they will bring about maybe do acupuncture to clear blockages along the energy meridians. And this will have some degree of positive effect. It absolutely will. But it will not clear the root. Now, when you look at soul, there are three um, three very important aspects of soul. It's called which is soul, heart, mind. And then below that is energy and matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. What is matter? That's what the Western world and the Western medical approach works on. They work on adjusting the matter, the chemical aspects of the body, the cellular structure. They cut, they remove, they massage, they, they work on it at that level. Eastern medicine works on the chi level, the energy, uh, the energy levels. So they try to adjust the chi through herbs, through massage, through acupuncture, through uh, things of that nature. Um, and more recently, they've been working well together and people get even a little bit better results when they apply both energy and matter. But above those is soul. And a one sentence secret that my teacher, Dr. Master Shah has brought is, heal the soul first and the energy and matter will follow. I have uh, offered plenty of validation of that through both the teachings and the blessings that has been offered uh, over these last four or five months doing the live streams. And more of that validation can be uh, seen if you, if you do any homework around Dr. Master Shah, any of the thousands of testimonial videos on his website. It validates that when you remove the blockages at the level of soul, because the soul lives forever, it carries forth our karma, and it is the predecessor to the depressive condition. It is the predecessor to the fear condition. It is the predecessor to the pain in the neck. It is 
the soul and the, and the karma that rests on our soul is the predecessor to all the wonderful things that happen in our life and all the unpleasant things that happen in our life. And so when we deal with it at the level of origination, then that which is beneath it, which is the energy and the matter, the mind and the body, it has to follow. Okay? So that's the base understanding and that's why it tends to have a very high level of success. So when we recognize first and foremost that anything can be um, brought balance back to if we deal with it at the level of soul, we're already on the right page. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. First, bring the healing to the soul. Then the soul directs the, uh, the heart. The soul directs the heart. The heart is the heart is, is, is it's pure. It understands the soul's message. It understands the soul's intention. The soul has been around for thousands, hundreds, and sometimes thousands of lifetimes. So it has great wisdom. It has great understanding. The heart aligns to the soul. The heart directs the mind, not the other way around. We're moving from mind over matter to soul over mind over matter. And so the heart directs the mind. The mind then directs the energy. The energy directs the matter. And so think about that in flow. Soul directs the heart. Heart directs the mind. Mind directs the chi, the energy. The chi directs the matter. Let's use that in a real world example. We know that when somebody pokes a needle in you through acupuncture, that in many cases people feel a lot better. That pain, that suffering, that stiffness, whatever it is, goes away. How is that possible? Energy preceded the matter. They broke through the blockage, energy started moving, matter followed. Okay? What is above that? Mind. You've heard of mind over matter. You've applied it and it's worked very well the majority of your life. So when we focus our mind on things, which is one of the four powers, uh, body power, sound power, mind power. So mind power is very relevant. We don't want to poo-poo on it. We want to put it in the right position is important. Okay. So mind moves the chi and then moves the matter. But what is above the mind? What should be above the mind? The heart and the soul. So when healing occurs at the level of soul, then everything below it must shift. It doesn't work the other way around. You can't adjust the chemicals and think that's going to go up and move the chi, and then it's going to go up and change the mind, and then it's going to go up and change the heart. It's not going to happen. How many people change their heart when they're taking depressive conditions? They're not. Uh, how many people, when they cut out their cancer, it comes back? Because at the soul level, the blockage is still there. The karmic conditions that brought about that health condition hasn't shifted. So this is the base understanding. So when you have this base understanding, then you can move towards healing and solutions. Solutions, S-O-U-L, solutions. Hmm? You like that? So what are some solutions? There are three main solutions. The first is to understand that from the chi and matter perspective, there is uh, uh, the fire element. So the fire element is one of five elements. I'm not going to go into major teachings on this, but simple, um, simple, basic understanding. Five elements are in all aspects of life, literally in all planets, in all cells, everywhere there are five elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And these five elements are not physical elements. You can't look at Mars and say, oh, I don't see any wood on Mars. No, we're not going there. We're talking about a much deeper understanding on a spiritual nature. But in terms of the human body, the fire element is opposite of the water element. Kind of makes logical sense, okay? The water element is the kidneys. The fire element is the heart. That's the associated organ. And they're, a pair, uh, not, they're not a paired organ, but they're opposite organs. So if one's out of balance, it impacts the other. If the kidney's out of imbalance, impacts the heart and vice versa. So sometimes fear leads to anxiety. Sometimes anxiety leads to fear. Anxiety is a heart issue. Fear is a kidney issue. Uh, if people have both imbalances, they have sleep deprivation. And so these are, again, Eastern philosophies. Depression has a direct association with the message center, the heart center, the fourth chakra. And this imbalance is not Guys, I tell you, it's not a small one. I have offered probably in this last four or five months of live streams um, at least 
three or four directly associated with the message center where the entire live stream was just about how to open your message center go back to my previous videos find them scroll through um, they're very important to watch again not going to do a deep teaching today um, but the heart center is the center through which we receive all of our heaven messages it is the enlightenment center it is the emotional center it is the center that that uh, uh, we have also messages I mentioned that it is the karma center it is so important and when it is closed then we have conditions like depression we have conditions where it's difficult to find love we have many many conditions including financial blockages and more so one of the keys of bringing healing to the condition of depression is opening the heart center very 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 important uh, example it's about two weeks ago a gentleman um, I offered a blessing for he didn't know anything about soul healing he did the blessing because his mom paid for it basically he loathed life was happy to take his life had no desire to stick around he was doing very um, not so very good drugs on the weekends but was a high functioning person so during the during the week nobody knew about his problem on the weekends he would go covered up with some very unpleasant drugs and just loathed life you know go hide in the corner when, when no one was around and I offered a blessing to clear the blockages in the message center it's called a soul mind body healing and transmission system it is an extraordinary blessing um, I, t I could tell right away he felt better but he didn't say anything I just wanted to, to, to let it play out and see if he felt what I could see and I received an email uh, a couple days later and he's like you know I have not felt as good in 15 years I I don't know what you did but I, I just I, I I'm I'm literally uh, in, a, in a very different place than I have been for the last 15 years that's what happens when you open up this area depression is the same as saying you have a very closed heart center now again the sources could be things like heavy metal it could be mercury it could be uh, activities that happen in your life that beat you down 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 but the source the root is karma karma brought those conditions to your physical vehicle karma brought those conditions to your emotional vehicle so you want to address it at that level three ways to accomplish it love forgiveness and divine services which is like love and forgiveness on steroids okay love and forgiveness how do we incorporate that we incorporate that in a four-part practice we have it's uh, we have about 30 minutes left so I'm gonna do a practice with you so that you have something tangible that you can work with okay so everybody wherever you're at sit up straight back away from the back of the chair this hand position is good for opening the message center because one hand is pointed to heaven the other one is gently gently relaxed over your heart center it's called the soul light service hand position and it's a hand mudra whenever your hands are in certain postures and positions it allows for more energy to flow to that area so this is a very good posture uh, if your backs away from the back of the chair it allows more energy to flow so we're going to do what's called the four powers which is body power soul power mind power and sound power this is your body power repeat after me dear the soul of my message center I love you you have the ability to release any depressive conditions that I have experienced in the past that I may be experiencing now or that I might experience in the future do a great job thank you soul communication is direct connection to the soul of your heart center visualizing golden light in the area mind power we're going to use love we're not going to use our love we're going to use divine's love what you chant is what you become if you chant Jesus loves me Jesus comes to you gives you love clears your blockages in your heart if you chant divine love then that's the divine's love divine comes to you blesses your heart center releases the blockages these are what's called self karma clearing practices now we're going to do a forgiveness practice which is the other part of this 
the most important part of this. So keep your eyes closed. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have done anything to bring harm to you, especially bringing emotional suffering to you that has brought about the condition of depression. I deeply and sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. It is not something that I would wish to cause upon any soul. And I have experienced this in my life and it has not been pleasant. I have learned my lessons and I deeply and sincerely apologize for bringing any form of suffering to you. Thank you for your forgiveness. So this is a simple forgiveness practice. Keep your eyes closed, visualizing the golden light. Let us begin. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Repeat with me. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Divine love, 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 divine love. Ask for forgiveness for any time you may have brought this condition upon others. This is half of the spiritual solution because nothing happens accidentally. No success is accidental and no suffering is accidental divine love 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 please forgive me i forgive you please forgive me i forgive you please forgive me i forgive you please forgive me I forgive you. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Repeat. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Divine love, divine love. Feel the divine's love. Divine love, divine love. Divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is just a practice. We certainly have not done it long enough to have any degree of uh, long-term effect. It may have a very small effect for you, and if it did, congratulations on that. 
the key with the amount of time that I have to work with in understanding is that everything has a root and that root is karmic based and that karma will follow us and continue to nag at us and create problems in our life until such time as it is addressed it can be addressed through love it can be addressed through forgiveness and it can be addressed through divine services which dramatically increase the amount of love and forgiveness to impact the area you want to think of imagine you had a, 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 a well, you do. We all have an Akashic record, a book in heaven, that has a record of all of our pleasant services and all of our unpleasant services. And imagine on one page you had a lot of dark dots for all the unpleasant services. And on the opposite page you had a lot of beautiful, colorful dots for all of our pleasant services. Obviously, we want more of one than we want of the other. But when we have too much of any given one on the dark uh, uh, spots on our Akashic record, then that comes to us and creates problems. So how do we remove those problems? And very simply, we remove them by bringing more positivity, more love, which has a higher frequency than depression, more forgiveness, which potentially we hope will allow those, the reason the darkness is on our Akashic record and on our soul is because we caused problems to others. Uh, today I had uh, uh, breakfast with one of my students and we were talking about um, some conditions that she had aha moments on in which she was working with clients and the clients uh, were in great suffering their their uh, their loved one had passed away and she works in the funeral industry but she she started working with me because she couldn't find that compassion that she needs to be able to find that empathy uh, to be in the right place for these uh, beautiful souls and these people were suffering and she said she felt great irritation and she was trying to figure out why it boiled back to an early life um, she had had a, a series of conditions happen with her mother in which the mother manipulated using um, woe is me kind of things oh I'm so poor you know take care of me I'm, I'm this I'm that and she had great resentment and this felt similar to her and what I pointed out to her was the reason your mother was that way to you was because in previous times you were sent that way to her. The reason you have this blockage and haven't worked through it in the 50 years of your life is because you've always pointed the finger at her as you're the victim. But what's important to recognize is any bad thing that's happened to us, we very likely originated it. Whether we remember it or not, it has no relevance. If it's in our life, we've brought some form of condition that has brought it to us. So when we do forgiveness, it's not a small thing. It's not, oh, this is cute little woo-woo stuff. Um, this is very, very powerful way to transform your life in a very quick manner. When you do authentic forgiveness for this in any lifetime, you may have brought suffering, uh, depressive conditions to others. They might forgive you. If they forgive you, that means your heart is lighter. That means that darkness flies off your Akashic record. And that means you have now an opportunity to come out of that darkness. The, this applies to everything that, that is related to, to any of the blockages that you're experiencing in life. One of the students that's watching right now uh, has some severe neck pain. And uh, they didn't have any solutions for it. I haven't worked with them yet. But if they pay attention to these teachings, they'll start to understand that that has a karmic source. And when it's cleared at the source, then the mind and the body must follow. So that is the third level of the solution. The third level is what's called divine services. Now, divine services are exactly what they sound like. They are the divine's blessings to you. You've heard of some great beings such as Jesus and Buddha and other very, very world-renowned, never-to-be-forgotten great beings. And they have done miracle healing. One of the things that happens is uh, the healing happens very fast and no one can seem to explain it. One of the beautiful things that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity is an explanation. Why? When these great masters waved their hand, that suffering went away. And what he explained was that suffering was karmic in its, in its activity on that person's experience. And when that great being, like a Master Jesus, said you are forgiven, 
What does that mean, guys? Think about it. That means at the level of Akashic Records, the darkness that was causing the suffering was removed. You are forgiven. That's exactly what that means. So when the soul level blockage was released, then all that was left was for the mind and body to align to the purity that was already at the soul level. So when blessings are offered using divine services, what is happening? The same thing on many levels. The uh, virtue that is offered offsets the spiritual debt. Virtue is what offsets spiritual debt. When you're chanting divine love, divine love, divine love, what are you doing? You're doing a virtuous activity. Flowers are coming to your crush record when you're chanting, clearing the dirt, clearing the darkness little by little. When you're chanting divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, I forgive you, please forgive me. With a deep authentic heart, what is happening? The karma at your Akashic record is, is whittling off little by little by little. So this is not uh, rocket science, it's very common sense. That's one of the beautiful things about Master Shah is he brings these common sense wisdoms to humanity. But he brought one additional thing that I am very, very deeply honored. I bow my head to my, to my teacher and spiritual father. The empowerments that he has brought includes the ability to receive divine services to clear these blockages at a much higher level than we can on our own. You can apply what I'm suggesting and absolutely get results. But when you're dealing with some heavy stuff like, you know, severe neck pain, like severe depression, you're going to have to do a lot of forgiveness and a lot of chanting to bring some resolve to those kinds of things. Because there's a reason they're severe. It means that the level of karma has gotten pretty intense. And that's when you want to look at higher level of services. How do divine services work? The reason they work and how they work is it's based on a healer transmission. Uh, this, this teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, uh, from the age of four has been trained to become a servant to humanity. He went through becoming a regular doctor and a medical doctor and a, a Chinese traditional doctor and then he trained with deep masters in the mountains of China that no one knows about and some very uh, very predominant masters that were healing literally millions of people in China. So he got all this deep spiritual wisdom as well and then he started receiving uh, guidance from the divine and he received healing authorities from the divine. They're out there, that's not new. Uh, almost all of us have the ability to do healing, but divine healing is a little unique. And he has the ability to transmit power to other people. There are many divine healing hands healers that are watching right now. I have been on this path for eight years. I received recently a status called a divine vehicle and channel. And what that means is I'm able to ask God, God, could you please clear this person's spiritual blockages? as appropriate, uh, up to you, and then the blessings occur. How is it that this person that I just met two weeks ago didn't know them, they didn't know me, didn't know anything about this service, had loathing considering taking their life for years, they have an almost overnight switch from one blessing. It's truly only possible in the world of the divine. It's only possible if their Akash record is clear to the blockages. That's, that's really the only way it could happen. And, and I, I bow down to God, I bow down to my spiritual father, and I bow down to all of you. I don't do this. I am just blessed to have trained under a very high level master who has the ability to transmit this kind of power. And so I offer these services to serve you. How does it work? I offer three what's called divine orders. This is at the highest level. It's called the soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission system. And it's really only necessary for the higher level blockages, you know, major stuff, severe pain, severe blockages in your life. That's when it's the most important. Um, and so the, the first divine order is offered. And you want to think of your, um, you want to think of the blockage area at your soul. Your soul it looks just like you. It's just a golden light being. It's, it's not wearing clothes. Maybe it is, but it's a golden light being. Um, but if you have pain uh, in the neck, darkness on your soul's neck. If you have uh, depression, there's darkness in your heart center. It's very simple. So wherever the blockages are in the physical body, if it's finances, blockages in your heart center. And so that's where the blessing occurs. When I offer a blessing, uh, God does not clear it from her physical body. Yeah, I asked, dear divine, could you please close this blessing? And the blessing occurs at the level of soul. Your Akashic record gets opened up. The blockages get cleared off the Akashic record. Your soul darkness goes away. Your physical body goes through an adjustment. 
and it works just like that. Now, one of the unique things about this service is you also receive what's called a light wall protection. Very often, the darkness that has come to you, has come to your Akashic record, is not really happy that, they're, that they have to go. Truly, they're not happy. Um, why? Because we don't know what we have done to bring this depression to us. Let's go through a scenario of a possibility, okay? I will do a soul reading. I have a little bit of time. I'm going to do a soul reading. I'm just going to ask um, um, Yen Wanye, the leader of the Akashic Records, to pick one of you that's watching right now, one that has depression. I'm not going to say who it is, so don't guess it's you. Uh, but I'm going to ask him to tell me why one of you has this depression. And you'll start to understand why some of the darkness doesn't want to leave. Dear Yen Wanye, I love you, Ani, about to you. Can you please choose one person that is watching now that has this condition of depression? Share with me the karmic implications of what brought about this condition for them so that all in the audience can have a deeper understanding of why it's so difficult to release. Thank you. How? This is Yen Wan Ye. This soul that I have chosen has suffered with this for the majority of their life. They have tried many things and there has been some ups and more downs. The root cause of this stems from two lifetimes. There is one lifetime in which this person was a land baron and they were very ego oriented. They were looking for titles in the hierarchy of the kingdom. And the more land that one owns, the greater the title. They did quite a few underhanded things that caused many to lose not only their land, but their businesses. This in turn created great suffering that did not stop with their family. This included the grandparents early passing, the children not getting the education that they wanted, and the youngest child, in one example, dying from malnutrition. And this lack of business success and loss of land permeated through multiple generations, uh, seven generations to be exact, and this created a great deal of karmic debt from the greed of this lifetime. There is another lifetime in which this person as a in the opposite sex role was a user of the heart. Uh, someone that would abuse love because of their looks, get what they wanted, uh, including wealth, and then push aside the uh, uh, target, if you will. This person did this until their early death, but did not learn their lessons. In both of these examples, there has been a great deal of difficulty in this life for this person, including the inability to sustain true love even though there have relationship it is difficult to sustain a love it is difficult to operate in life in general and there is an overbearing cloud this is what can be shared at this time this is yen wan ye ha 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you yen wan ye countless bow downs to you so a family, seven generations, children died. Imagine the parents watching their children die from malnutrition. The grandparents die early. They lose their business. They lose their land. You think they're not exceedingly angry? You think they're not like very vengeful? It's highly likely. And so those kinds of souls can potentially 
create suffering for us. They're not interested in having to leave. They would prefer to make us suffer. Simple. And so when we receive divine services, what does that mean? That means that the divine looks at that scenario and says, let us, let the divine offers the divine's virtue, pays down your and your ancestor's spiritual debt, and darkness leaves. The Shen Qi Jing, energy and matter, is transformed to light, and therefore the physical and emotional representation shifts to reflect that. Then, as a second order, light wall protection is provided. The light wall protection ensures that that darkness cannot return. So, a divine service at that level, the soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission system, it's not a small thing. It's a very, very powerful and it should be very honored. Before I ever offer that service, my head is on the ground because I know it's not me, and I know that there's no way I'd be able to offer this if it wasn't for my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. And I've witnessed, I definitely refer to them as miracles, um, from the Divine's generosity. Well, why is it here on earth at this time? Because, look around guys, we're in a heap of, we're in a heap of, heap of, heap of, heap of trouble right now. There are some serious problems on earth. And when there is really, really unpleasant times on earth, heaven brings us great, great light beings. There are several out there. Master Shah is one of them. And I am very blessed to have studied with him that has allowed me to be in position to communicate with you at this time so that you know the reason, the spiritual root reason for any blockage that's happening in our life. Doesn't matter if it's the subject today of depression or what it is. And that there are solutions. Love and forgiveness. You don't have any money? Doesn't mean there's not solutions. Dr. Master Shah has put tons of free videos on the internet for you to click on. Go look up one, YouTube, Master Shah Depression. Type it into Google. You'll find it right there. Put it on loop. It will loop again and again and again. You're going to get lots of good free blessings. Good stuff. Same thing for any problem that you're suffering with. He has a TV channel that runs 24-7, tv.drsha.com. TV dot drsha.com it's a 24-hour channel that's serving you 24 7 blasting you with light and love and blessings you can put a request for blessings on there he's transmitted over 30 trillion saints in heaven to serve that channel so it's it's there's many many free things out there for you but some things like heaven's virtue you know they, they do cost a little bit so if you'd like to know more about the divine services, you can check in with any divine channel of Dr. Master Shah. I am one of them. There are many around the world. They can all offer this service. Dr. Master Shah can offer this service. If you'd like to know more about what I can do for you, go to my webpage. It's asoulhealer.com. A-S-O-U-L healer.com. And there's videos on there, more explanation. I'm here to serve. Do the best I can, okay? Um, so I apologize about the beginning of the video. It was a little bit off. It threw me off energetically. I was able to get back in alignment and serve you as best I can. Uh, for those that don't quite understand enough yet, keep coming back to the live streams. The more you watch it, the more you understand. Go get one of Dr. Master Shah's books. Go to his website. Learn more. Become educated. He's a dedicated servant to humanity. And there is so much you can do for your soul journey without changing your perspective, your belief, and what's important to you. It's not about that. It's about uh, aligning to your soul. And there's no religion or belief system associated with that. We all want to align to our soul, its intentions, and we all want to return back to the source at some level. And that's what his teachings assist us with, okay? So uh, I will see you again tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm following divine guidance. Um, feel free to contact me through my website. Um, also, sign up for my newsletter. You can be made abreast of the most recent conditions there. It's at the very bottom of the page. And share this video at the end. Also, subscribe if you want to be made known when I go live. Um, that subscribe button is either there now or will show up in the upper corner when I finish. Okay? So, I will talk to you soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.